head south to Latin America, political and economic turmoil are taking a toll on Venezuela's financial standing. Standard & Poor's has lowered the country's credit rating downwards. Pro-government groups blame the U.S., saying that the United States has been trying to economically isolate the South American country. Martin Markovitz reports. Despite containing the world's largest oil reserves and an expanding economy, the Wall Street financial firm Standard & Poor's lowered Venezuela's credit rating by one notch from a B-plus to a B rating. SMP said that recent political unrest following Nicolas Maduro's razor-thin electoral victory this past April, along with shortages of basic goods including toilet paper, have created a negative outlook on Venezuela's credit. According to economist Carlos Luna, Maduro's socialist economic policies that favor strong state intervention and the expropriation of private businesses was also a factor in the downgrading. You have a country in which there is institutional insecurity. They are not even friendly to foreign investment. These investors are not allies with Bolivian socialism or their foreign policy. This is why foreign investors are reluctant to invest in Venezuela. But economists allied with Nicolas Maduro say that Venezuela is being unfairly punished by Wall Street because of its critical stance against U.S. economic power and also for seeking free trade agreements with other countries in the region away from free market liberal principles. The transnational capitalists who are located in the United States and Europe started generating mechanisms to systematically attack us, militarily, economically, politically, and even between big business. This obviously impacted the grade that Standard & Poor gave us. Thanks largely to high oil prices, Venezuela has seen its economy on average grow in the last 10 years under President Hugo Chavez. But record inflation and frequent devaluations have become the norm here. But in a break from his predecessor, the newly elected Maduro has signaled that his government would seek better relations with both private business and the U.S. Despite Venezuela's stated desire, tensions are still high. Martin Markovitz, CCTV, Caracas.